Good morning, everybody. So happy you're here with me today on January 12th. I'm Kathy. Welcome to Yarn with Heart. Um, I've got my first cup of tea here with me today. It's barely morning. I got a late start today. Um, I had a sleep in. I'm not feeling top of the mark, but it's still Friday morning and here we are together. So I hope that all goes well and I hope you've had a good week. And today in this yarn chat, I will be sharing about blankets, some completed ones with tips I used along the way and a peek at a whip to be completed for February's blanket. Also a viewer submission of a beautiful baby blanket. Um, I'll share about my journal, how I'm being simple about it for 2024. Also curious about how long I will keep a journal this year. If I manage it into April, that will be a success. <laughs> Looking for progress, not perfection. So next week i will be sharing about knitting and how the half hour a day of knitting is going also i'm hoping to do something called you decide so in that um next video should that project that i'm working on become a baby blanket or a prayer shawl and also i'm trying to learn a new knitting skill for january so we'll see how that goes next week um, if you subscribe and ring the notification bell you won't miss the next video on january 19th and thank you so much for comments likes shares and subscribing it all really does make a difference and help so the first thing um, I'd like to show is a viewer submission from Ginta. Um, this viewer who has been trying some Tunisian crochet sent me a picture of a blanket that she will be giving as a gift. Um, she sent me this picture by email and has agreed to me sharing it with all of us here. The squares for this beautiful blanket are Tunisian and were made using a normal crochet hook as her hook was long enough for holding the stitches for one square. Um, what a great way to try Tunisian without buying any new equipment. Um, she said that her, her pattern is a variation of TL Yarn Crafts YouTube tutorial for a Tunisian crochet patchwork afghan. Um, the blanket is really pretty and cheerful done in the colors that she chose. If you'd like to uh, see where that tutorial can be found, I will type it in the description below. And if anyone would like to share pictures or pattern ideas, please email me. I'm happy to include your e your ideas so that we can share together our pattern ideas and learn from each other. Now, today, one of the first things that I thought I would um, show you was a blanket that I started in December. Actually, both of these finished items were started in December. This one is the Modern Moss Stitch Baby Blanket. It's by Hannah Brown McKay from Daisy Farm Crafts. It's free on your inspirations. Oh, I've got one end here. I still have one end to tie in, I see. Um, it's free on Yarn Inspirations. This one was in the Moss Stitch, as it says in the name. It's Modern Moss Stitch Baby Blanket. I've also heard 
the moss stitch called the linen stitch or the granite stitch. That's just an interesting tip. Um, I used a six millimeter crochet hook for this red heart with love yarn and it took about a half skein of the eggshell and two full skeins of bluebell colorway yarn. So there's the pattern and I'll stand up and show you the blanket. So it's a sweet little baby blanket. Now a tip that I found helped me with this blanket because it would have resulted in many ends to tie in. What I did as I was working the white was I carried the bluebell color along with me when I did the row of white. And then on my pass returning back, which was my first row of blue, I tucked that um, blue yarn in to my row of blue so that the carried yarn didn't really show through on my blue on my white stitches. So that's a tip if you find that you can um, tuck your carried yarn in that can sometimes help so that it doesn't show through on your light color. So that's the baby blanket. Now I had just enough, I mean just enough of the bluebell left to do this sweet little baby hat. As a matter of fact, I did on purpose leave this yarn end left. This is how much of the bluebell that I had left for two skeins. So I was playing some yarn chicken with this one. The hat pattern is the Baby Bobble Beanie by Nikki Mack. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I used a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And again, the red heart with love and the leftovers of eggshell. I had lots of the eggshell left, but I did almost have no bluebell yarn left after I finished this hat and the, um, the blanket. So all of these patterns, as usual, I will type locations for those patterns if there's a free option and where the paid option is down in the description below. The other um, completed item that I have, I started this one in December as well, but December was so busy with other things that I really didn't get to complete this one until now. And this is the chevron, uh, crochet chevron blanket by Jada from Jada in Stitches. There's a tutorial for this and she also offers a free pattern through her website. And I will, um, I will say this was such a fun pattern to work. I did have some tips on the December 15th video that I um, used I figured out myself and used as I was working it. So if you wanted to look at that video, um, one of the tips that I will add is that originally when I was using working this, I thought I would use just this um, pretty periwinkle color and the charcoal and the white. After I did one repeat of the periwinkle, I weighed how much was left in my yarn ball and said, thought to myself, I am not going to have enough of this to do the full blanket. And so then I rummaged my stash and found another fourth color that would work. And that was how I came up with this particular color combination. It was not planned. It honestly was a happy accident. And I think it worked out okay. If I were to make this blanket again, I probably would put the white on both sides of the charcoal. But, you know, it's a learning process. So I, I think 
this is uh, one of those ones that I learn as I go and it's just um, one of those things that you have to do and learn as you do, right? So this one is my second finished blanket for January. Started in December. Now I do have a blanket that I started um, this one I started this month. It's still a work in progress. A little heat here. And there it is. I'm not going to pull it out. I will link the pattern below. And this is the sundial. Um, the squares are still getting joined together. Yep. And it's the sundial throw. So in February, that one will be a completed item. Yeah. So there we go. That's um, a sneak peek at that one. Now, the last item to talk about and chat with you about for today is my journal. I'm going to make it as simple as I can make it, and I hope I can keep it into April. So one of the things that I will do is on the cover page, I will continue to weigh my projects and keep track of how many grams I year use how many grams of yarn I use each month. So that I thought when I started that um, last year, that worked out really well. If anyone wants more detail about that, you can watch uh, last week's video. Now, this is a simple journal that I found stored away. I had bought it on clearance some time ago. Something similar might be available and even if something like this isn't available, a plain book would do the trick too. This is not one with the dates pre-labeled on it. And I think that will be best for me so that if I skip a day or even skip a few days, it'll be okay. And I can just jump in where I am and pick it up again. Um, the journals divided into two sections. And on one section, I am putting a quick checklist off, um, for things that I do daily. I'm going to put a picture here so you can see it. This is backwards because of the way my camera works. But I'm putting a quick checklist for things I do daily, like my half hour knitting, exercise, YouTube tasks, things like that. And beside that is a spot for me to write a bit, maybe about a pattern that I started, the name of the pattern, hook size, yarn used, that kind of thing. And each day I get to put in one or two stickers in there, maybe make a little art doodle or something fun. Uh, and below is a gratitude section where I write three or more gratitudes or moments or times where I feel peace or joy that day. So this is not, it's not detailed, but it's probably for me um, about the extent of what I'll be able to accomplish. I'm sort of a free spirit when it comes to planners and complicated ones haven't worked for me. So this is what I'm going to try this year. And this is, this is our chat for today. Um, I hope to see you uh, next week. And to everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your crochet. Enjoy your knitting. And hope to see you next Friday.